Hello, Girl Scouts of Greater South Texas. I hope you're ready for some more virtual fun. First things first, let's do the Girl Scout promise and the Girl Scout law. So what you're gonna need to do is raise your right hand, pinky goes down, thumb goes over your pinky, and we're going to do the Girl Scout promise first. If you don't know the Girl Scout promise, you can just repeat after me. But if you do know it, definitely say it with me. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Now let's do the Girl Scout law. And again, if you don't know it, repeat after me. But if you do know it, say it with me. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do. And to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Today we're going to be talking about chromatography. And chromatography is a process that forensic scientists use to kind of analyze mixtures and colors. So we're going to be doing a really cool project. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a cup and we're going to fill that with a little bit of water. You're going to need a marker, preferably black. And you're going to need one paper towel or if you have it, a coffee filter. So in this activity, you're going to get to see what colors actually make this black marker black. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel or your coffee filter and make sure you have something underneath it because you don't want the black marker to bleed through. So I have a couple of pieces of white paper underneath. So you're going to place that on top. You're going to take your black marker and you're going to try to draw a big circle right in the center of your paper towel or coffee filter. So I'm gonna to try to draw a circle as best as I can. It might come out like an oval, but we'll see. And you wanna to try to make it a thick circle. So I'm gonna to try to make it as round as I can. All right. All right. So once you've drawn your circle, you're going to take your paper towel and you're gonna fold it in half. And then you're gonna fold it in half again. You'll notice that the circle's kind of right there in the center. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna fill it with just a little bit of water. So mine is just touching that first line on the bottom of the cup. And you're gonna very carefully take your napkin and kind of place it to where that little spot, that little tip right here on the paper towel or coffee filter is barely touching the water. So I'm gonna make sure it kind of touches. And now we wait to see the color magic. Be sure to set your um, cup and your paper towel aside so you can let the water gradually go up the paper towel. And if your paper towel is kind of tipping into the water, you can kind of fold it, that's what I did right here, to kind of keep it from going too far into the cup. So set it aside for about five to 10 minutes. The longer you let it wait, uh, the more the colors have time to kind of go up the paper towel. And then at the end, we'll pull it out and you'll get to see all the awesome colors. Having a career in forensic science doesn't always involve math and science and biology. You also need your artistic skills, and that's what you're going to have to do with this challenge. You're going to have to come up with a disguise that will hide your recognizable features so you can blend into the environment you're trying to investigate. So go for a costume or makeup or a new hairstyle and send us your before and after pics and make sure you use all the hashtags so we can see your before and afters. Check out my disguise. Time to see how our ink chromatography came out. So we're gonna lift up this paper towel very carefully. I would definitely try to do this over a sink so you don't get any water um, on a table or anything like that. I'm gonna open mine over this piece of paper. And what you should see is some really cool colors and designs. So remember, this was a black circle. And now you can see how the color is separated with the water and you can see pinks and reds and greens and blues. 
So all of those colors were separated um, and you're able to see what actually makes a black marker. It's a lot of actual colors in there, so it's pretty cool. What you can do is let this dry, um, and then, I'm gonna place this one aside, you can turn it into something else. Maybe you can turn it into a bow or um, a little picture. So I'm gonna kind of crumble mine a little bit. I'm gonna take this black pipe cleaner, and I'm gonna tie it around. Ooh, and now you have an ink chromatography butterfly. So get creative with your creations. Maybe try out some of the other markers. Maybe try one of the blue or the red markers and draw a circle on a paper towel. But you can make some really cool creations with this ink chromatography experiment. This concludes our investigation badges. Hope you had fun and continue being girls of courage, confidence, and character. Go out there and make the world a better place.